Hey everybody, what is going on? It is Dunbar Snack Bar here with NCAA Football 13, and we have got Teddy Crocker and the Georgia Bulldogs. Now, picking an SEC team, I knew that it was going to be very difficult as a halfback. It's one of the reasons why I chose Georgia, because whenever I think of the SEC, I think about just great defenses, you know, teams that are really going to make you pay for every single yard. But in this game, I'm going to get a little bit of a break from it here as we're going up against a non-conference opponent in North Texas. So as I come out onto the field here, I think that uh, this is going to be a pretty big game here for Teddy Crocker, especially from the standpoint of yardage, as long as I can go ahead and just stay in the game because I'm getting injured quite a bit in every game that I play. But we're starting off as a di at a disadvantage here, being down 3 to nothing. But Teddy Crocker with a great pickup right there getting us to the 46 yard line. So this is how I like to be able to start games off with something big, you know, giving me the kind of momentum and, you know, the motivation to keep going with stuff like this and just to have a great game. All right. So on the very next play here for Teddy Crocker, it's going to be another run up the middle. Not a big surprise since that tends to be the plays that are called more often than not. I cut to the left side, which is not the way that the play was designed to go but it works for me as I'm able to pick up over 10 yards right there to be able to get another first down for Georgia so two plays two first downs Teddy Crocker just getting it done here at the beginning of the game North Texas is really gonna have a hard time being able to contain him I mean I just know that now there's a big difference between the two teams when it comes to attributes but ooh, that would have been a good pickup if instead of going for the legs if my offensive line mode would have actually gone for the block. But we're going to mix it up now. Just run to the right side of the field. Got to turn on that reaction time feature just so I can find openings like that. And get us the first down again. So we're going to have 2 minutes and 11 seconds left in quarter number 1 after uh, we get done with this play and we reach the line of scrimmage again. Of course, there's going to be some time that's ran off, but you know we really don't have that much time here in quarter number 1. So it looks like that there's a lot of trust here from the coaching staff uh, you know, with Teddy Crocker here. I pick up nine. A lot more calls I've noticed as of late have been runs up the middle. I do often change the plays if it's a passing play because I just want Teddy Crocker to get every single opportunity to get every single yard. But there have been a lot more going my way, and that's a frustrating play. Man, I really wish that I would have been able to pick up the first down right there. I'm not, but I get pulled. But when I come back in, it's 10 to 7. So Georgia on on uh, the defensive here still. we got to make sure we get at least three points. So it's all up to Teddy Crocker to get this done. Not the best play call right there, but I make the most of it here. Being able to pick up three yards right there. No small feat. So now with the amount of time that we've got left, I'm okay with the computer passing every once in a while. So I'm going to see if I can, you know, get something done here. And look at that. Teddy Crocker open, gets the reception. I'm really contributing to the team now. It's not too often that you're going to see uh, Teddy Crocker being able to, you know, get a big catch here. But, hey, I do it right now. So Teddy Crocker just keeping Georgia in this. I'm really surprised with the score right now, but I'm going to go with another running play. Break one tackle. Oh, man. If I wouldn't have ran into my own guy, easy first down because we're going to be looking at second and inches. But you know what? A lot of the things that I've been using my XP on is obviously purchasing things for Teddy Crocker to make him better. And so I'm going a lot with uh, things that increase my ability to break tackles. And it seems to be working very well for me. I've noticed a big change, especially here in the sophomore year, from how it was uh, in the freshman year. So I'm going to have to make sure that you know I really keep building that up, since that's been the biggest success story here of Teddy Crocker so far. You know, from a training standpoint, is just all the tackles I'm able to go ahead and just shed. Well, that last one, obviously not one of those. Third and nine now for Georgia. Another passing play here, so I'm just going to be cutting to the outside. Or just going right downfield. I don't know what happens, but we get the touchdown. So it's just away from where Teddy Crocker was. So maybe I helped out by being able to pull you know, one of the defensive backs away from one of my other players. 
But a minute and two seconds left here. We're going to be looking at a screenplay for Teddy Crocker. Ooh, great pickup. Not able to get out of bounds, though. So the clock is going to continue to run. I really wanted to get out of bounds because I, I mean, I just want to make sure that I have every single second that I possibly can here at this point to try to see if we can go ahead and continue to put some points up on the board. Because right now we're up, as you can see, 14 to 10. But I just want some more insurance points. Just going straight downfield, hoping that they'll lob it. But not going my way. Does get swatted away by the defender. We're looking at second and 10. So it is up to Teddy Crocker once again. Gosh, make one juke. I get past the defender, but I'm looking at third and five right now. And that's going to be it for Teddy Crocker right there. 21-10 now the score. Finally put back in here at the beginning of half number two. Not throwing my way. But it is going to go to one of my receivers deep downfield. And he's going to be able to outrun everybody and get the touchdown. So this is a big play for Georgia and also a big play for Luke Johnson, who now holds the record in NCAA football for the longest touchdown pass. Well, the game's version of it. I mean, we know there's a lot of other passes, you know, that were longer than that. But Teddy Crocker getting it done again with the reception. I cut out just in time to find that ball right where my hand should be. All right, Teddy. Really raising the bar here in this game. I wish every single game was like this, except for the fact that I'm always getting pulled at the worst times and I'm not able to score any touchdowns. 28 to 10, run into the left side here. A lot of great blocking in front of me. Unfortunately, not able to go ahead and beat him. So I just get pushed out of bounds. I've got 109 yards so far, and that's not too bad considering how many times I've been pulled out of the game to rest. But all right, another one of those uh, times here when, you know, Teddy Crocker does not look like he's going to be getting up for a while, but he does. We're looking at second and four. So one of those plays again where Georgia really trusts me to get it done. Just running upfield. Another great pickup for Teddy Crocker. Every single yard that we get just makes me look that much better. And really goes to help Teddy Crocker too because that just adds the amount of experience points that I have. And gosh, I can keep making him better. 35-17. Four minutes, 30 seconds left. The handoff to Teddy Crocker using reaction time, of course. Man, not a pretty run right there. Second and 10. Instead of going outside here, I'm just going to make sure I run up the middle. As long as I have a lead blocker, I feel pretty good about things. But I, I kind of juke out of the way of that. Use the blocker in front of me. Oh, man, what a great run and a great touchdown here for Teddy Crocker. Honestly, absolutely impressed with that one. I am kind of disappointed we can't go back and watch the replay. Instead, we're going to be seeing... Uh, some replays from some other uh, plays in the game. But that was one of those runs that I wish I could go back and watch. Because that one, gosh, that was great. And that highlight doesn't even do it justice. All right. So this game is definitely within our reach here. 165 yards, as you saw, for Teddy Crocker. 42-17 the score with three minutes and 18 seconds left here. Pickup of three for Teddy Crocker right there. So I think it's going to be really difficult, if not impossible, for North Texas to be able to come back from this type of deficit with only three minutes left in the game. So with Teddy Crocker, I'm just going to take the ball and run it right up the middle. I get the first down, so we can still continue to run down the clock as much as we can. If I was you know, managing this, sorry, if I was coaching this team, it's exactly what I would end up doing right now is everything that I can you know, to keep this clock going, make sure we don't uh, give Northern Texas any time to be able to come back here. But all right, so just running again, a five-yard pickup now. Let that clock run. All right, so two minutes, 23, that run to the outside. Break one tackle, not go anywhere, but that's going to be it for Teddy Crocker. So... Georgia does end up winning this game here. I'm glad that we do end up winning it, of course, uh, by a big, big margin, too, 45-17. So I do appreciate you watching this. More of Teddy Crocker to come later on, so make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, all that great jazz. Just make sure you check the description below. But you are phenomenal people. You guys do not ever forget that. It is always. I hope you guys have a good one.